उन्हें आप कृपा करके साइलेंट कर दीजिए हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा जिन भक्तों ने प्रभु जी की सूचना नहीं सुनी कृपया अपने अपने श्री मोबाइल्स को बंद कर दें अथवा अस्थाई रूप से वाइब्रेटर मोड पे रख दें वाइब्रेटर मोड को क्या बोलते हैं हिंदी में चलित रूप जो भी है और अपने बच्चों को वाइब्रेटर मोड पे ना रखें उनको साइलेंट मोड पे भी रखें हमारा परम सौभाग्य है कि हमारे बीच पदार्पण हुआ है ही सोलनाज भक्ति विघ्न विनाश नरसिंह देव नरसिंह महाराज की तो महाराज जी शिला प्रभुपात के शिष्य हैं और बहुत ही विकट एक बहुत बड़ा देश है हमारा पड़ोसी देश जिस जिसमें जिनके साथ हम कई बार भाई भी बोल चुके हैं एक दूसरे को हिंदी चीनी भाई भाई तो इतने विकट परिस्थितियों में महाराज जी प्रचार करते हैं महाराज के बहुत सारे शिष्य हैं वहाँ पर और आप में से कितने भक्त नवदीप मंडल परिक्रमा में गए हैं और उसका एक हम सबके लिए एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण अंग है महाराज जी का पर्सनल उपस्थित महाराज जी सो वंडरफुल्ली कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑल दिस परिक्रमा यात्रा वेरियस विजिट्स टू द वेरियस प्लेसेस ऑफ पिलग्रमेज विद इन नवदीप मंडल एंड ही इज ऑल्सो नोन फॉर बींग एक्सट्रीमली ऑस्टियर एंड बींग सच ए सोर्स ऑफ इंस्परेशन He has been a great Sankirtan leader. He has been um, a wonderful preacher across the world. Also, now people get inspired by him in so many ways. It's a great privilege for us to hear from Maharaj Sri La Bhakti Vikna Vinash Narasimha Maharaj ki Sri La Prabhupad ki. जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जान बल्ला गिरिबर गोपी जान बल्ला गिरिबर यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुन थीरा वन यमुन थीरा वन जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन बल्ला गिरिबर धारी गोपी जन बल्ला गिरी पर धारी 
यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना थीरा वन चारी यमुना थीरा वन हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नेताय गोर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो नेताय गोर हरि बो जय जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय शिल प्रभु पाद नम ओं विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमती भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नीति नमने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पश्चातारिणे
Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Daivim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jayamudhirayat Nasta Praeshu Vapadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki We're reading from the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 6, Chapter Number 3, entitled Yamaraj instructs his messengers. This is text number 32, shown on the screen here. Srinvatam, Granatam, Viryani. I need somebody. You can read the verse for me, Prabhu. Marriages.
Shrinvatam of those hearing Grenatam Grenatam and chanting Varyani the wonderful activities Udamani able to counteract sin Harehe of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Muho, always. Yata, as. Sujataya, easily brought birth. Bhaktya, by devotional service. Should yet, may be purified. Na, Na, not, not. Atma, Atma, the heart and soul, soul. Vrata Adibi, by performing ritualistic ceremonies. Translation One who constantly hears and chants the holy name of the Lord and hears and chants about the activities can very easily attain the platform of pure devotional service which can cleanse the dirt from one's heart. One cannot achieve such purification merely by observing vows and performing Vedic ritualistic ceremonies. You can repeat, one who constantly hears and chants the holy name of the Lord, of the Lord, and hears ab and chants about his activities, can very easily attain the platform of pure devotional service, which can cleanse the dirt from one's heart. One cannot achieve, One cannot achieve such, purification such purification merely by observing vows, observing vows and performing Vedic ritualistic ceremonies. Ceremony. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. One may very easily practice chanting and hearing the holy name of the Lord and thus become ecstatic in spiritual life. Padma Purana states, Nam Aparada yukta, Yuktanam nam an, Namami Eva Haranti Agam Avishranti Prayuktani Tani Eva Arta Karani Cha Even if one chants the whole, even if one chants the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra offensively, one can avoid offenses by continuously chanting without deviation. One who becomes one who becomes accustomed to this practice will always remain in a pure transcendental position, untouchable by sinful reactions. Sukadeva Goswami especially requests King Parikshit to note this fact very carefully. There is no profit, however, in executing Vedic ritualistic ceremonies. By performing such activities, one may go to the higher planetary systems, but as stated in Bhagavad Gita 9.21, Shini punye martya lokam vishanti. 
when one, when the period of one's enjoyment in the heavenly planets is terminated because of the limited extent of the results of one's pious activities, one must return to the earth. Thus, there is no use in endeavoring to travel up and down in the universe. It is better to chant the holy name of the Lord so that one may become fully purified and eligible to return home back to Godhead. That is the aim of life and that is the perfection of life. Omma jnana timaranda syakyananjana shalakaya chaksurun militanyena tasmai shri gurave namaha shri chaitanya manubhistam stapitam yena bhutale swayam rupakadamayam dadati swapadantikam bandeham shri guru shri yata padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha, Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raganathan Vitam Tam Sajevam, Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishaka Nitamscha. He Krishna Karana Sindhu, Dinabandhu Jagatpate, Gopesha Gaupika Kanta, Radha Kanta Namostate, Tapta Kanchana Gorange, Radhe Vrindav Nishwari, Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye, Vancha Kaupa Tarubhyascha, Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadekor Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So today is the second day of the World Holy Name Week. We began yesterday. Yesterday was the auspicious day in which Srila Prabhupada landed in America, in the USA to establish the Krishna Consciousness Movement. And so the devotees of ISKCON give special importance to that event and they immortalize this activity of Srila Prabhupada by celebrating the Holy Name Week. Not just one day, but for one, one week we are celebrating the glories of the Holy Name. Just yesterday uh, we were over, I was at Punjabi Bagh and we went to Raj, 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 Rajuri Gardens and had a very big Harinam for several hours and many people got the holy name. It's very powerful to perform Sankirtan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu dedicated most of his time to performing Sankirtan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu initially was living in Mayapur as a householder and he began the Sankirtan movement there but initially Sankirtan was performed privately, not publicly, it was a private affair and it was held in the, in the uh, residence of Srivas Thakur in the place of Srivas Angam, the courtyard of Srivas Thakur. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would gather there in the night. So it was nocturnal. It was in the evening, every night they would gather. 
Mahaprabhu decided no need to sleep every night. We waste so much of our life in sleep. So he decided let all the devotees come and we will have kirtan all night. Isn't that nice? So they they would meet every night and have kirtan the whole night. But only the devotees, only the, those who were recognized by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They didn't want everyone and anyone to come because they wanted to taste the pure nectar of the holy name. And so they restricted who could come. And even some people who really wanted to come and tried to come, they got found out because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could detect that somebody's here who shouldn't be here. <laughs> so uh, th then they would look around and they'd find out, oh, somebody is hiding. One time there was a brahmachari. Brahmachari was very pious, only living on milk and fruits. And he was a strict brahmachari. And he really wanted, he just wanted to see the kirtan. So Srivas Pandit took some compassion on him and told him, well, you can try, you can try, and they hid him. But when Mahaprabhu began the kirtan, then Mahaprabhu immediately detected that somebody is here who shouldn't be here. And at that time then the brahmachari came out and he apologized that, oh, I'm very sorry, I just wanted to see the kirtan. And you know, I'm a brahmachari, and I only live on milk and fruits. But Mahaprabhu was not impressed. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, do you think you can get love of God just by living on milk and fruit? That is not the way. That is not the process. Do you think just because you're a brahmachari, because you're living on milk and fruit, that you're going to get love of God? You're wrong. Why are you coming here? Get out. He threw him out. No, but actually the brahmachari became very humble and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also took compassion on him and blessed him that he would develop some Krishna consciousness. There was another brahmana who desired to come to the kirtan. But Mahaprabhu knew this brahmana was not a very nice person and told him, no, I, it's not for you. you, you shouldn't come. And so the brahmana put, put a curse on Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he took his brahman thread and he broke his brahman thread and told Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu that I curse you that you will never enjoy material life. <laughs> you, you all want that curse, I understand, right? Yes, you're. Mahaprabhu was also very happy when he got that curse. He thought this is very nice. And so, try to understand the holy name. It's very special. Mahaprabhu began in Mayapur and it was a private affair. But later on he took sannyas and he went to Jagannath Puri and when he was living there in Jagannath Puri then it was for everyone. And Mahaprabhu brought the chanting of the holy name out of the temple. It's not that we just chant the holy name in the temple, but the holy name can be chanted everywhere. Wherever you are, we can chant the glories of Lord Krishna and we can chant his holy name. So this was a very special contribution of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that he brought the chanting out of the temple. So similarly also in our Krishna consciousness movement, we don't just sit in the temple and chant. We go out, we go out to every town and village, we go to every place to give the holy name, to chant the holy name, 
and to awaken Krishna consciousness in people. Chanting the holy name is the beginning of Krishna consciousness. Srila, Srila Prabhupada explains like that. The, we can recognize who is a devotee by who is chanting the holy name. One of the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, a person called uh, Satyaraj Khan, was a resident of Kalinagram and he would come with the re other residents from Kulinagram every year. They would make the journey over to Jagannath Puri and take part in Rathiyatra and also get the association of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would always arrange to have darshan with the different villages that people from each village would come and they would meet with Mahaprabhu. And it's described in Chaitanya Charitamrita how Satcharaj Khan came with the other people from the village and they requested Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that I, I'm a very fallen person. I am in the family life. I'm very fallen. How can I make advancement? Now, this is humility. You know, it's not necessarily true that because someone's in householder life, they have to be very fallen. There are many, many very advanced devotees who are also in householder life. And Srila Prabhupada himself was in householder life for many years before he took up the missionary work of distributing Krishna consciousness. And if we study the Mahajans, there are 12 Mahajans who are all authorities in devotional service, we see that maybe half of them are also in householder life. So it's not true that because we are in householder life that we are fallen. You may be fallen, but it doesn't mean that everyone in householder life is fallen. So Satyaraj Khan was a very humble devotee and he came to Mahaprabhu inquiring like this. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him that you should chant the holy name constantly and you should serve the Vaishnavas. So you will notice in the purport we read this morning, Srila Prabhupada also explains that if we, we may be chanting the holy name with offenses, we're not chanting the pure name. But if we chant continuously, it will allow us to come to this stage of pure chanting. It will nullify the effects of the offenses. Every morning in our temples we will recite the ten offenses in chanting the holy name. And one of the most difficult offenses to avoid is to chant the holy name with attention. If we are chanting with inattention, then our chanting is not pure. And it is said that from inattentive chanting, all the other offenses come about. The other ten offenses which are there, they come from inattention in the chanting. So the, in the beginning, we may chant very carefully and with great attention. But gradually, as we become more familiar with the mantra, gradually we're, our attention wanders and we allow our mind to dwell on the material thoughts. And that's a problem. If we're not hearing the chanting, we're not hearing the sound of the mantra, we're not thinking of Krishna. When we hear the holy name of Krishna, then from the holy name, the other features of the holy name also manifest in the heart of the chanter. Other features mean, first of all, 
the form of Lord Krishna. And when we think of the form of Lord Krishna, then we will also remember the qualities of Krishna. And thinking of the qualities of Krishna, we'll also remember the, the lila, the pastimes of Krishna. So within the holy name, there is the form, the rupa, there is the uh, guna, the qualities, and there is also lila, the pastimes. All of these things are there in the holy name. But first you have to hear the holy name. It's not that we sit and chant, we don't hear the holy name, and we think of other things. We must focus the mind properly. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Satyaraj Khan, chant the holy name constantly and also serve the devotees. Service to the devotees is also very important. Along with chanting the holy name, if we can do service for the Vaishnavas, for the devotees, we get great benefit. It is said, Mahatsevam uh, Dwaram Ahur Vimuktes. By serving the Mahatmas, the great souls, it opens the doors to liberation. So very important for us to develop a mood of service. And that mood of service, that is actually the nature of the living entity. Our constitutional position has been described in, by, again by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He said, Jivarswarupahaya Nitya Krishna Das. That our constitutional position, constitution, just like in India, there's a constitution. There are basic laws which don't change, laws by which the whole country that is, is governed for centuries. And so in the same way, our constitutional position, our real position is to be Krishna Das, Nitya Krishna Das, that we are all eternally the servants of Krishna. So why should we serve the devotees if we are servants of Krishna? We may argue, someone may argue like that. I'm serving Krishna, why I have to serve the devotees? We have to understand that Lord Krishna is situated in the heart of all living entities. So we see Krishna not only here in the temple, but we see Krishna in the hearts of all the living entities, of all the devotees, all different creatures. I was with, with uh, Srila Prabhupada one time in London and we, we went to a Hindu temple. They had invited Srila Prabhupada to come and give a talk. And so this, this Hindu temple, they, had, they were worshipping Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, the Trinity, the Hindu gods. And Srila Prabhupada explained to them that a devotee of Krishna not only offers respect to Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, but a devotee of Krishna will offer respect even to the tiny insects because within the soul of the insects, Lord Krishna is also there. Lord Krishna is in the heart of all living entities. He is not just simply in the temple, in the deity. We see Krishna in the deity, that is good, but that is Kanista. That is the, the, the beginning or the, the neophyte stage of devotion. We can, we can go on to higher levels, not just to see Krishna only in the temple, but to see him in the hearts of all the people. So when we offer service to the people, we see them also 
as part and parcel of Krishna. And how to serve, how will we serve the people? Well, generally we like to serve them by giving them the holy name. The best charity you can give anyone is the chanting of the holy name. And if they will hear more, then we can speak something of the glories of the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. That is also a, a gift which all of us like to give to people. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Satcharaj Khan, chant the holy name constantly and serve, serve the devotees. Especially, he said, serve the devotees. Why? Why only serve the devotees? Because by serving the devotees, you will get the blessings from the devotees. You serve ordinary people, how will they bless you? They don't know how to bless you, first of all. Even if, and to, to try to serve ordinary people, it's very difficult to satisfy them. You may give some donation to the, the poor person and they will say, oh, only, so, only five rupees? <laughs> Why not give more? It's, you don't satisfy them. It's very difficult to satisfy people. But devotees, it's very easy to satisfy a devotee. We satisfy the devotee by giving them the, the, the message of Krishna. We give, for example, someone gave me this garland. This is prasadam, the mercy of Krishna. So I accept the prasadam of Krishna, which comes in the form of flower garlands. We accept also the prasadam of Krishna, which comes in the form of the foodstuffs, which are offered to Krishna. And we accept also the nectar of hearing the glories of Krishna, especially the holy name. We want people to chant the holy name. And if they chant the holy name, then they're reminding us of Krishna. So in this way we feel sa satisfied that this person has reminded me of Krishna by chanting the holy name. So Satcharaj Khan was told to serve the devotees, but he had another question. And he asked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how can I recognize who is a devotee? Now recognizing a devotee, we may think, well, different things. Well, we could see who's, who's wearing dhoti and kurta, who's got a big bag around their neck, who's got tilak on, who's got the tosi mala around their neck. Like that, we may think in these different ways that we could recognize devotees seeing these external symbols. However, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, anyone who is chanting the holy name even one time, he is to be considered a devotee. Very important. Now don't take this the wrong way. You may think, oh, I chanted one time, I'm a devotee. I don't need to chant more. You just chant once. This is very good. Prabhupada is saying chant 16 rounds. This man saying only chant one time, you're a devotee. So easy for us. No, you have to understand that chanting the holy name one time means someone is beginning their Krishna consciousness. It's the beginning. We have to go on from that. As we said, in the beginning our chanting won't be very good. It won't be very regular. There will be gaps. You know, today I chant, well, today's Sunday, I can chant today. Monday, oh no, no time. Like that, you know, there can be fluctuations in our chanting. 
not very regular. So we have to come to the higher level. It's not that chanting one time is enough, I won't chant anymore. Certainly it's good, you chanted one time, that is the beginning. But you want to go on, you want to go on in this chanting to achieve more than just only the beginning. You want to finish, right? You want to complete the chanting. And the completion of the chanting comes when we develop love of God, love of Krishna. So chanting, it's the beginning and chanting is also the perfection. It's the, the end of everything. In the beginning we chant and when we become perfect we're also chanting, chanting more and more. In the beginning chanting is difficult, troublesome for us. We're given an example to help us to understand how to develop our chanting. Rupa Goswami, one of the disciples of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he has explained, he said, just like a person who has jaundice, whenever I come to Delhi, I always remember how I had jaundice in Delhi. <laughs> I came to Delhi 1975 and we had a small temple in the Bengali market and Radha Partha Sarathi were there and we were worshipping them and it was a small rented house and we were about half a dozen devotees <laughs> so I got jaundice you know, because in summer I came in the summer, I came after the Gorpurnima festival. Actually, Gopal Krishna Goswami, uh, he was uh, living in New York and uh, he was to come to India. Prabhupada was bringing him to India to begin work here in India. So, he asked the temple president, can you give some men that I can take to India with me? So, I was one of the men who got given to... <laughs> uh, there was a reason for that, because I'm from the UK, and at that time, UK citizens didn't need a visa for India. But Americans, at that time, it was really difficult for American people to get a visa to come to India. But because I'm from the UK, he said, it would be good you can come because you don't need a visa and you can stay. <laughs> so that's what happened. I came and I stayed. I stayed for about four years. I was here in India. And then I went to other countries to help to pioneer preaching there. So anyway, I got jaundice. I was in Delhi at Bengali Market, our, our center. I got jaundice. How to cure it? I didn't know. I went to doctor. Doctor said, no, nah, no medicine, jaundice. You just have to rest, you know. Uh, but then someone else told me, you drink sugar cane. You drink the sugar cane. I thought, well, oh, sounds good. Yeah, that's nice. I like sugar cane. So I thought, I told the temple president, Tejas Prabhu, I need money. I have to get sugar. Oh, no money. <laughs> Anyway, he gave me money and we got some sugar cane juice and I drank it and I thought, oh, it's horrible. I thought, what's wrong with the sugar cane juice here in India? <laughs> Very, but then they said, no, it's, it's you. You're not healthy. Your liver is not functioning right. So you cannot taste the sweetness of the sugar cane juice. But you have to keep drinking it. I thought, oh, no. More, it's a real medicine, bitter medicine. But he said, no, you drink it, you get cured. You keep drinking it. So the holy name is like that. In the beginning, you know, we don't have a lot of taste. And we chant, oh, one round. Oh, I'm, good. I'm doing good. I did one round today. You know? <laughs> and like that, we're thinking, we're chanting. But if you keep chanting, 
keep chanting and try to chant more gradually gradually you get more taste more and more taste the taste will come as you go on chanting it's there within us so we encourage everyone you have to do this chanting of all the instructions of Srila Prabhupada of all the instructions of the Acharya, most important thing is to chant the holy name. It was by chanting the holy name that Dhruva Maharaj met God. It was by chanting the holy name that Gajendra saved himself from the crocodile. There are so, Draupadi chanted the holy name and Krishna came in the form of the unlimited sari to protect her to protect her chastity. So the, the chanting of the holy name, Ajamila, we're hearing from the sixth canto, Ajamila, he didn't do anything, but somehow he had a son called Narayan, and he got the benefit of chanting that name, and it destroyed all of his sins. And because all of his sins were destroyed, He's not yet ready to go back to Godhead, but his sins were destroyed and he was able to then take chanting of the holy name very seriously. Because he had seen the Yamaduras, they had come there and they had arrested him, but then the Vishnu Duras came and freed him. They said, no, this man is without sin. He's sinless. But the Yamaduras were saying, no, he's sinful. He did so many sins. He's a drunkard. He's a thief. He's a womanizer. He did everything, all bad habits. But the Vishnu Duras say, no, all of his sins are destroyed because he chanted the holy name. Now, he didn't just chant one time. He was chanting the name of his son, many many times he was chanting and then when the Yamaduras came then it was natural for him to call to his son and then at that time he, rem he also thought of the Lord so all of his sins were destroyed and he was saved then Ajamila went off immediately he understood his situation was very dangerous and he left that place he left his girlfriend and he went away to uh, Rishi Hardwar he went to Hardwar and he stayed in a Vishnu temple there and he gave up his body on the bank of the Ganga so in this way he got perfection in his life in the same way, we, if we want perfection, and I assume you all have some desire for perfection, we can get it. It begins with the chanting of the holy name, and it also ends in the chanting of the holy name. Chanting of the holy name is a prayer to Krishna. It's a prayer to please engage me in your service. And chanting the holy name is also the answer to the prayer. Because when we chant the holy name, we are being engaged in service to Krishna. The chanting of the holy name is the beginning. It's also the perfection for all of us. If we can chant the holy name at the end of life, then Lord Krishna says, one who can remember me at the end of life, he will come to me without fail. So this is very much desired. We want to go to be with Krishna. We want to get out of this world, this material world where, where there's so much trouble, there's so many miseries. We want to go back to our real home. Just like you have a home, you always think about going back home when the holiday comes, maybe Diwali is coming, oh I should go home, go back to my village. 
So the same way we want to think of ourselves as a soul. And our soul also has a home. And that home is in the kingdom of God. And if we want to go back to our home there, the process is through the chanting of the holy name. Indeed, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, there is no other way. He has quoted from the Shastra that there is no other way but the chanting of the holy name. We have to do this chanting and we have to develop the taste for this chanting. What is a sign that we have developed the taste for the chanting? Sign will be that we will want to have more tongues to chant the holy name. Rupa Goswami has described in a very beautiful sloka, he says that when he chants the holy name, he wishes he had many thousands of tongues to chant. Just like Ananta Shesha. Ananta Shesha has many, many tongues to describe the glories of the Lord. But it's never enough. He can never complete the glories of the Lord. He's been describing the Lord since the beginning of time. And he has countless mouths and tongues, but he has never exhausted all the glories of the Lord. And the same is true for our ears. When the holy name enters our ears, we will want to have many, many ears to hear the nectar of the holy name. Rupa Goswami says, no one knows how much nectar there is in these two syllables, Krishna. Krishna, right? Those two syllables are full of nectar. And when the, that holy name enters the ear, then we will desire to have many, many ears. Lord Brahma is Chaturmuk, so he has eight ears. It's not enough. Ananta Shesha also has many, many ears. Not enough. Because there's so much nectar in the holy name. And then Rupa Goswami goes on to describe when the holy name enters into the courtyard of the heart, then it conquers the activities of the mind and all the senses become inert. So this is another sign that someone has developed a taste for the name, that they are in control of their mind and senses. Their mind and senses are dedicated to the service of the holy name. Just like Srila Haridas Thakur is shown there. You can see Srila Haridas Thakur there. And what was he doing all day and all night? Chanting the holy name. Every day, three lakh names. Some, about 192 rounds every day. You know, for us to chant 16 rounds, we're thinking, ah, oh, finished. <laughs> you know, I've done well, I finished my 16 rounds. But Haridas was doing 192 every, and he did it for many years. So, we're encouraging all the devotees also, not that you have to chant 192 rounds. That would be a bit difficult for you. But what you can do is take part in this Krishna consciousness movement. You join the Sankirtan programs, take part in the hearing and chanting, and in this way awaken more consciousness of Krishna. Krishna is in the heart. and. The more we hear about Krishna, the more we chant about Krishna, the more the heart will be cleansed and we will awaken that consciousness of Krishna. Consciousness of Krishna, it's not artificial. It's actually there in everyone. But we have to hear. 
we have to hear that's the beginning you hear nicely then you chant and when we're chanting nicely then remembrance will also come in this way all the different angas of devotional service they will all come about by the chanting of the holy name where there is good chanting of the holy name it's not just only chanting it's not just only the tongue but the ears the heart every the mind they're all there focused on the holy name and remembering krishna so this is what we want this is what we're coming to the temple for we want to practice this and practice makes perfect so please you continue this practice more and more make your life also perfect thank you very much Hare Krishna. are there any questions anyone has questions we have a microphone Hare Krishna Maharaj. So Maharaj, like as we see in the purport also, Shriya Prabhupada mentioned the constant chanting of the holy names. And we see, uh, like Prabhupada mentioned in the purport about the constant chanting of the holy names. And we read in Bhagavad Gita also, Lord Krishna is also telling Satyatam Kirtan Pramam. And we see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also saying Kirtan is Hari. And throughout the scriptures and the purports also, Prabhupada mentioned thousands of times this specific word constantly. So, like, what does this constantly word mean? Because for us, practicality, we just chant 16 rounds. And throughout the day, we are busy with other activities. And once we complete the 16 round, we are just in the forgetfulness of that holy name. And after next day, only when the time is to chant, then only we come we come to remember that we have to chant Holy Name. So Maharaj, how should we practically invite this constantly like mode in our day to day life that throughout the whole day we are we can perform this constant chanting? Thank you. Yes. Thank you for the question. Certainly we should understand how to constantly chant the holy name. Now chanting the holy name we will do for example, on our beads, we do japa, we do 16 rounds. But that doesn't mean that we don't chant after that, once we've finished chant 16 rounds. We can continue to chant the holy name. We can keep the holy name always on our tongue. And how to do it? Well, yeah, there's many other things to do. We have to do service, we have to clean the temple, people are cooking. There's many activities, all the devotees are engaged in many activities. So, when we're doing these different activities, at the same time we can also be chanting. We can, you may be gardening, you may be sweeping, washing, whatever. We can be also chanting and remembering Krishna. Some people, they come to class and then they chant. When there's no class, they don't chant. <laughs> there was one advanced Vaishnava lady, and she was a very, very advanced lady. She was always chanting the holy name. And so she came to the class and she could not stop chanting the holy name. She was hearing the lecture. So the man who was giving the lecture felt insulted because she kept chanting. But because her nature was to always chant the holy name, that even when she came to hear the class, she was still, she couldn't stop chanting. And so he felt offended, but actually he committed the offense against her because she was such a great devotee that she was always chanting the holy name. And he suffered the reactions, not her. So constant chanting of the holy name is certainly recommended. Not that we we use that to avoid other services. Of course, there are many things to be done in the service of Krishna. So, but while we're doing these other activities, we should also be chanting. All right? You're washing your clothes, you're cleaning the floor, you're cutting the vegetables, you can be chanting. 
We may, we may not be chanting the holy name, but we, be, we can be chanting slokas from the Bhagavad Gita, we can be chanting prayers, we can be describing the different leelas and pastimes of Krishna. And in this way, our tongue is always engaged in chanting the glories of Krishna and remembering Krishna. Is it clear? Yes? Thank you. Hare Krishna Maharaj Ji, why is not here Shiva statue? He is called he, he is called Prime Vaishnava. After that, his statue is not here. Yes, all right. Why is Lord Shiva not here? This was brought up one time actually when we were opening the temple in Hyderabad, in Abbots. We have a temple there in Hyderabad. And one devotee said to Prabhupada, he said, Prabhupada, we should put Lord Shiva here because many people are devotees of Lord Shiva here. If we put Lord Shiva here, everybody will come to the temple. And Prabhupada said, no, no. He said, that's not right. He said, if we put Lord Shiva here, they'll think it's all the same. They'll think Shiva, Brahma, Vishnu, Radha, they're all one, all are the same. It would be but it will just simply lead to the Mayavadi impression that everything is one. So that's why we don't have Lord Shiva here. But we do respect Lord Shiva and we do offer our respects to him. And as you say, he is the greatest Vaishnava. Yes. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Uh, I came to know about the Ante Narayan Smriti to remember Krishna at the... Hare Krishna Prabhu, I came to know about the Ante Narayan Smriti to remember Krishna at the time of death. So I was asking that if we couldn't remember Krishna and we remember the devotee is the Guru Maharaj, so we should, would be delivered to Krishna or not? Yes. If, if you are remembering the spiritual master at the time of death, will that deliver us? Yes, if the spiritual master. <laughs> spiritual master is representative of Krishna. So there's no difference. You think of the spiritual master, you think of Krishna, the same. Because spiritual master is representative of Krishna. So certainly if you're thinking of him, you will also go back to God. Other devotees. Well, it depends. There are different levels of devotees. As we said, you know, somebody's, you know, just started to chant the holy name. So you think of him, well, you, you get his whatever mercy he's able to give you. Maybe you come to his level. <laughs> you chant one time also. So, there are different levels of devotees and we do want to be careful about who you take shelter of and who we approach for shelter. That you want to find out the topmost devotee, the one who can deliver you back to Godhead. And so you just think of a devotee it's good, they're devotee, but you don't know, are they always going to be devotees? Sometimes people come to Krishna consciousness and they're chanting for some time, but then they go away, they give up, they stop chanting. So you have to be sure that the person you're thinking of and taking shelter of, that they're really devoted and their whole life is devoted and they're going to go back to Godhead, then you can follow them. Hare Krishna Maharaj, <coughs> thank you so much for such a wonderful lecture today. Maharaj, my question is as uh, Srila Prabhupada says in his purport and uh, you explained that we should always see everyone in relation to God. We should see that everyone has uh, uh, Paramatma Shri Krishna in his heart. But uh, Maharaj, many times in our material life we, we come to across to so many people who are feeling jealous with us or 
having uh, thinking bad things about us so in that case how should we we think that they are uh, in they we can think that they are also a representative of god or how can we uh, think of that how to deal with people who are not so not so uh, not so devout yes well certainly we have to understand that lord, the lord is in everyone's heart but not everyone is a devotee not everyone is in krishna consciousness so we see everyone is suffering from their different karmas some people have a lot of bad karma and so it makes them especially demoniac it makes them atheistic it makes them even offensive sometimes to devotees it's due to their past, due to their uh, previous sinful activities. So they have developed that kind of nature. So how to deal with them? Usually people who are offensive and uh, very uh, nasty, then we will simply avoid them. We'll simply avoid them. Because if you try to preach to them, then they simply become more offensive. And that's not good for them. If they become more offensive, that's bad. We want to benefit them. So the best way we can benefit them is just by avoiding them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj, for the lecture. Please translate Hindi in Hindi. Maharaj, as you have told us, when we have time, we have to say the words of the Bhagavad Gita, or the words of the Bhagavad Gita, or the words of the Bhagavad Gita. What is better, we hear to buy MP3 player, bhajan, sloka, or we recite by tongue. Better we recite ourselves. If you hear, you may hear, but you may not hear with attention. That's a problem. If you sit and hear, we say it goes in one ear, it goes out the other. You know, it's not very, it's not going to the heart. But when you have to chant yourself, you'll make greater efforts, you see. And of course, you have to, we have to learn how to chant ourselves by hearing from the pure devotee. So first we hear and then we should chant. But if you just simply hear, often you can be sitting hearing but you don't give a lot of attention. The, the mind wanders, it's restless. But if you're chanting yourself, you have to be more conscious. So it's better to chant. Thank you, Maharaj. हरे कृष्णा महाराज जी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका महाराज जैसे प्रभुपाद जी कहते हैं कि हमारी भक्ति जगह का विकास होता है 99 परसेंट मतलब माला पे निर्भर करते हैं तो महाराज जी हम माला को कैसे मतलब 16 माला से अधिक करने का प्रयास करें कि 16 माला के बाद माला रख देते हैं मन नहीं करता करने का तो कैसे इंटरेस्ट डेवलप कर You just simply chant more and go on Sankirtan, do the Sankirtan. Congregational chanting, Mahaprabhu like chanting, everybody chanting. So you join the Sankirtan party and go and chant and dance. And also, you should also be familiar with the theology of the Holy Name. You should understand the science of the chanting of the Holy Name. Not that we're just mechanically chanting. We should know why we're chanting, and what, whose name we're chanting, and why we're chanting that name. And so it should, it should all be understood. It, we should be very clear about this chanting. We should understand the offenses. We should take care to avoid them. 
and we should know how great devotees all achieve perfection by chanting the holy name. And in this way we will feel more inspired to chant. Hare Krishna Maharaj, uh, my question is uh, that the reason we chant the holy name is to develop the love for Krishna. But uh, then we see so much miseries internally also, externally also. So uh, my feeling is like, oh, I want to chant because I want to get rid of these miseries from the material world. But then how should I get rid of this feeling? And you know, so that it replaces with the reason of developing love for Krishna. Yes, well, your desire to get you out of the material world, that of course, as you know, that's not pure chanting. That's chanting in the mode of goodness. Just like people may have, they may, you know, we are suffering from sins, so I will chant to destroy my past sins. So that's chanting in the mode of goodness. But we want to come to the level of pure goodness. So we have to come to the level where we actually develop the desire to simply want to serve Krishna and to chant for the pleasure of Krishna. The thought of the material world and being miserable, yes, it's a horrible place, we do want to get out of it, but at the same time, we don't want to just only think like that and be selfish and think about ourselves. We want to also think about all the other people who are here as well. And we see Vasudev Dutt, Vasudev Dutt told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, let me take the sins of all the other people, all the other living entities, let me take their sins and I will stay here and suffer and let them all go back to Godhead. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so much appreciated this desire of Vasudev Dutt. And he said, this is the mood of Prahlad Maharaj. And we know Prahlad also to be a very great Vaishnava. So we should also think like this, how these great Vaishnavas, they desire the liberation of others. They're not thinking about their own self. So we want to try to cultivate that kind of mood, that we simply want to develop our attachment for Krishna. And by chanting, by developing this attachment for Krishna, developing love of Krishna, then wherever we are, it doesn't make any difference. Right? As we say, Narayana Parasarve, Nakutas Janya Vibhyate, Swarga Apavarga Narakesh Vapitu Yata Darshana. That for the devotee, who have taken shelter of the Lord, there's no difference between heaven and hell and liberation. It's all the same. Because wherever they are, they're going to do service for Krishna. That is the important thing. It doesn't matter where we are. It doesn't make any difference. That if we're serving Krishna, that is the success in life. But if you just simply, go, for example, if we go to heaven, but if we're not in Krishna consciousness, then it will become hell. But if you go to hell in Krishna consciousness, it's better than heaven. <laughs> so in this way we think about, we don't just think about our own self but we think about how we can benefit others. Krishna consciousness is a service industry. We are here to give service to others. <laughs> Prabhupada said, he, when he went to America, he said, I didn't come to beg from you Americans. I came to give you what you have lost. Yes. Yeah. Okay. thank you, Maharaj, for your wonderful association, Maharaj. Maharaj, uh, this Lama Bhas, it said that Lama Bhas uh, gives liberation also. So, what kind of liberation it is when it says Lama Bhas can give liberation? Uh -huh. 
What type of namabas do we get? Well, just like Ajamil was chanting the holy name at namabas, so the result of his chanting, all of his past sins were destroyed. Right? All of his past sins were destroyed. He was supposed to die. He didn't die. His life was prolonged and his past sins were destroyed. And that's how he could go to Hardwar and he could chant the Holy Name, go to the Vishnu temple and then give up his body and go back to Godhead. So chanting at Namabhas liberates one from free from all past sins. So Maharaj, here liberation means that uh, one gets free from... Liberation can be understood in different ways. In that particular case, liberation means now you're able to take up devotional service. Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma, right? You've come to the platform of Brahma, devotional service begins. Devotional service begins from the liberated platform. For the impersonalists, their goal is liberation. But for the devotees, liberation is the beginning. That's where we're really doing devotional service. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Oh, no, Maharaj. Oh, no. Go ahead. Maharaj, as we have learned and we are hearing daily, the Naam and Nami are same. Means the name of the Krishna and the root Gun Lila of Krishna is same. So while chanting, we can concentrate on the name of the Krishna. As you said. We can concentrate on hearing the name of the Krishna. Yes. How, how can we realize practically during that time the root Gun and Lila of Krishna? Yes, when we do the pure chanting, then Krishna arranges that the, the other thing, the root and the lila and the guna, they will all come within the mind with the chanting of the holy name. When our concentration is fully on the holy name, then Krishna will reveal all of these things. They will come with the holy name. If we are not tasting, it's because our chanting is not yet fully it's not proper yet, it's not yet perfect. But with the proper chanting, with the full chanting, without offense, then these things will all come. It will all be shown by the grace of Krishna. You that just have to keep chanting. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you so much for the wonderful lecture. Uh, my question is Maharaj, how can I stop uh, my mind from wan uh, wandering here and there? While I am chanting, my mind wanders always like my family members, my son, my husband. It thinks of all of them, but is not concentrating on the holy name. So how should I stop it from wandering? Yes, good question. How to fix the mind more on the holy name? Loud chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. You chant the holy name loudly, you won't think of your husband and your family. <laughs> Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you for class. Uh, as we heard many times, or we read in the books of Prabhupada, that we were peaceful and we enjoying our life when we were in the, in the spiritual world, serving Krishna. But then we had a desire, came and we wanted to enjoy our life separate from Krishna. So we pushed into the material world because of desire and karma. And we are here and when we realize that we find ourselves in a miserable condition, that we are suffering, and then realize, okay, maybe we need to go back to Krishna. And 
But then we realize this thing, you know, the conviction is not there, the faith is not there. And when we, but when we hear the pure rational or the devotee saying these things again and again, we can see the faith and the uh, conviction is there. But when we don't hear, the, the conviction and faith is like, like not there, it's not, it's not that strong which was before. So I just want to, maybe you can say something on it or... So Pr Prabhu's saying, in the beginning, uh, 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 the, the lacking faith, that we understand that the material world's miserable place, and we know we should go back to Godhead, but still our faith is not very strong, so how can we get more faith, strong faith, so that we can, can be co more convinced in our practice of Krishna consciousness? So faith comes by association. You come, to, you come to the temple, you associate with devotees, we get a lot, a lot more faith. You associate with devotees and you also uh, serve the Vaishnavas. Sushushro Shradadanasya Vasudev Kataruchi Shanmahat Sevaya Vipra Punya Tirta Nishevana. By serving the devotees, great service is done. By such service, one gains affinity for hearing the message of Vasudev. So, it's important for us to get that uh, opportunity to serve in the association of devotees. I was saying, Satya Raj Khan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, chant the holy name constantly and serve the devotees. So by serving the devotees, you will develop more faith because by serving them, they will bless you. They will give you faith. Just like Narada Muni, when he was the son of a maidservant, he had the opportunity to serve some saintly persons who came to his house. And he served them and they blessed him. And then later on, his mother died and he was left all alone. But he remembered the instructions he'd taken from the saintly persons. And in this way, he went on to perfect his life and he went on to become the son of Lord Brahma and the great devotee, Narad. So faith is contagious. If you can associate with people who have faith, then you will get that faith also from them. You can also read the books. You have to read the books more and then you'll get more faith in the knowledge, in the process. If you're reading Srimad Bhagavatam regularly, very helpful, very powerful, it will help to destroy all of your doubts. So because, because we have doubts, that's why we don't have faith. We have to get rid of these doubts with knowledge by reading Prabhupada's books regularly and chanting the holy name, doing service for the Vaishnavas. And then this way, this faith comes stronger. We say in the beginning is faith, Adao Shraddha Tatsa Sadhu Sangha. But actually even before you have faith, how did you get that faith in the beginning? There has to be some contact with the devotees. That somewhere you met devotees and they gave you a little faith. And then you have to get more. You have to get more contact with the devotees. You have to cultivate that association. And the mood is also, the mood of service is important. Always remember, Krishna is the master I am trying to be a servant. So keeping that humble mood, to be humble is important also. Then faith will be stronger. Faith, very, we say faith can move mountains. You have to have faith. If you don't have faith, then it will be difficult for you to progress. So it's important, a very important quality, faith. Read Prabhupada's books, hear the classes and question and associate with the devotees and try, 
try to apply yourself to the process. When we speak about chanting, it's not just we're speaking about it, we also do it. And the more you do the chanting, you will see how it works. You read Prabhupada's books, you will see how it, how it affects us, how our life changes, at least our consciousness changes, the heart changes. Instead of being hard-hearted and cold and selfish, we become selfless and we become gentle and humble. It all comes about through the process of Krishna consciousness. So you can see the process works, but you have to try the process, you have to take part in the process. You have to do the experiment yourself. Follow the principles strictly. Chant every day at least 16 rounds. Wake up early in the morning and read Srimad Bhagavatam. You will see your life changes, guaranteed. Okay, thank you very much. Hare Krishna. One last question. One last question. Put it on, switch it on. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Maharaj, my question was that uh, how we can develop the service attitude towards others? How we can develop the service attitude towards others? Oh, service without attachment to the result. <laughs> yes, that's a, a difficult thing to cultivate because the material world we're all attached to the results. We're all very much a concerned with the results. You go for a job, how much are you going to pay me? Right? What's the benefits? We want to know, we do any service, we want to know what the results are. So we have to understand very clearly what benefit you're going to get by giving the result to Krishna. When we do service for Krishna and we give the results to Krishna, you should understand what benefit you get. That that is actually purifying the heart. It's taking away all the anartas, all the, the, the dirt which is there in the heart. The lust and the anger and the greed. And it's helping us to become detached from sense gratification. By giving the result to Krishna by not expecting anything for ourselves. In this way, we become detached. And detached from the material means attachment to Krishna. Not just simply detached, but no attachment, but we change the attachment. We become attached to Krishna. Give everything to Krishna. You're not the loser. You give to Krishna. It's the greatest benefit. You ask any of the people, the people who gave the money to build this temple, you ask the people who are giving the money to maintain the temples, they all benefit because they know they're giving to Krishna. And it, it actually, you know, it's all Krishna's. In Karma Yoga, you think, I'm giving to Krishna. But in Bhakti Yoga, it's all Krishna's. Nothing is mine. It's all His. And if Krishna wants, He can take everything away. So you're, you're better to give it <laughs> rather than have it. Thank you very much, Srila Prabhupada. Remember? Maharaj just said, if Krishna wants, he can take away everything. So we're giving many options to give before Krishna takes away. One of them is uh, uh, the Bhadra Purnima campaign that has started. Sabse anurod hai ki Srimad Bhagatam alag alag bhashao mein uplab hai. Shira Prabhupad ne itni atal parishram se itni sara granton ki sanrash na kari hai. Sabse anurod hai ki Srimad Bhagatam ke in alag alag granton ka vitran kare. सहयोग दें प्रायोजन प्रायोजित कराएं वितरण में सहयोग दें 
हमारा संकीर्तन डिपार्टमेंट में जाकर आप उनका सहयोग ले सकते हैं उससे पहले हम हृदय से आभार प्रकट करना चाहेंगे परम पूज्य भक्ति विघ्न विनाश नरसिंह महाराज को हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे महाराज जी कितने भक्त हैं यहां पे जो उन्नीस के बाद पैदा हुए महाराज गॉड इनिशियटेड बाई शिला प्रपात इन नाइनटीन बिफोर यूर बॉन्ड And one year from now, in 90, in 2024, Shri Maharaj will be completing 30 years of accepting sannyas. There are many people here who are not even 30 years old, so we can put it in perspective. Baki, aaj ka vishesh divasa har ravidar ko batate hain. Aaj kaun sa divasa hai? Sunday aur kaun sa divasa hai? संकल्प दिवस इस ग्रेस मोहन रूपरो बताते हैं महाराज ने भी वही बताया धाम पूर्वक जप करना है शिल प्रपात के ग्रंथों को पढ़ना है करेंगे नहीं करेंगे ओके okay, मतलब हरि बोल करेंगे नहीं करेंगे नहीं <laughs> हरि बोल ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच बाकी आपके लिए कुछ और सूचनाएं हैं हमारे कॉन्ग्रेगेशन के ड्यूटी प्रीचिंग टीम यहां पर उपलब्ध है दीपेश नेता प्रभु और अन्य भक्त हैं नदिया प्रेम प्रभु बाकी भक्त प्रोपा जी के पास मिलेंगे आप में से कितने भक्त पहली बार आए हैं अब सबसे अनुरोध है इनसे जरूर मिलें हमारे कार्यक्रम में आप शामिल हो सकते हैं नियमित रूप से आ सकते हैं प्रोपा जी के सामने वो मिलेंगे आपसे आप मिलने के लिए बाकी जितने भी अतिथि भक्त हैं आप सबके लिए सूचना है कि आप सबके लिए प्रसाद की व्यवस्था है फुटसा लाइफ प्लाजा एरिया के समीप जरूर उसका लाभ उठाए और नियमित रूप से मंदिर के कार्यक्रम में आते रहे इसी प्रकार रविवार कार्यक्रम में भी आते रहे शीला प्रभु निताय निताय गौर सीतानात्रे मानंदे अच्छा एक बहुत ही विशेष समय चल रहा है विश्व हरिणाम सप्ताह इसमें हमें कुछ भक्तों की आवश्यकता है सेवा के लिए जितने भी भक्त सेवा में रत होना चाहते हैं वो अभी तुरंत मिल लें इस मोहन श्याम प्रभु से यहां पर व्यासासन के समीप कुछ एक विशेष सेवा है आज आज के लिए कल भी है लेकिन आज जरूर है प्लीज आके मिल लें जरूर मिल लें जरूर मिल लें हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे